Iran is sending a message, a loud message. Right now, it's conducting major military drills, and a big part of them is testing a new air defense system. It makes it possible for them to lock into a flying object at a distance of 50 miles and hit it from 30 miles away. I have to ask, is Iran using these defense drills to send a message to Iranians or to the West? Let's ask Dr. Zudi Jasser, founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. He is also the author of the book, The Battle for the Soul of Islam. Dr. Jasser, thank you for coming back to the show. We always appreciate your time and insight. And what do you think? Who, who you. is this message for? Well, I think primarily, since it was released on Iranian TV, Melissa, it's it's really the Iranians sweating. They're really sweating about domestically their economy. Uh, prices for food are up 50 percent. The real is down 60 percent. People are getting a little unsure and queasy, not only about the economy, but are they going to be attacked from abroad? So what better to do than to have this large, massive defense four-day war game strategy where they show that they can, you know, uh, protect themselves, but also, you know, Rahimi, the vice president, for Ahmadinejad made this bizarre statement that he said that he was going to break the grasp of Obama on Iran, which is a euphemism in sort of the Middle East vernacular that they're going to cut his hand off, which is pretty militant, but also tells them that, you know what, on the heels of a new uh, Obama re-election, that they're not going to, to be pushed around by the West, and they can blame then their own economic woes on foreign powers, et cetera, and displace what the conservatives in Iran are blaming the econ economic woes on Ahmadinejad, and they can say, look, it's from Obama, and we're protecting our country from the threat. Yeah, I, I mean, do you think that this works and is compelling to people who have been banned from buying luxury goods from abroad, like toilet paper? Well, you know, I think economically it's it's not going to have that much of an impact on sort of the distribution of goods as we see. There's bypasses being done through India, through Japan, through China, and also Russia. But I do think that ultimately the economy is faltering internally because the government is able to bypass, as you reported and broke the story through Reuters a couple weeks ago here, that they were getting one to three billion dollars of gold into Iran that's helping them bolster their cash. Yeah. But on the other hand, the, the goods goods that they're buying are still not keeping up. They have 30 percent reduction in oil imports or exports, rather. So they're really suffering on but what they, they can bring in and out of the country. But they are getting around the sanctions in part. I mean, how are they doing that? Well, they're doing it through, number one, bringing bullion in from Turkey and Dubai. So that brings in the cash that they need without having to deal in rials. Number two, India, Japan, and China are purchasing up to 50% of their oil that's being shipped through uh, either Iranian ships or actually other flagships that are masking the fact that that oil is going to those countries. And Turkey has this pass through the sanctions that's 180 delays that they're also still dealing with Iran. And Russia also, I mean, some of the defense systems they were using in the in the defense drills this past week were actually Russian made the S two hundred defense systems. This situation is not getting any better. We're trying to have a happy show here. It's not going that well. Dr. Jasser, thanks so much for joining us tonight anyway. We appreciate it. Anytime, Melissa, thank Up you. Next.